Judy. Judy, I... Oh, Judy, love. Listen, I... I'm going to get some help. Judy, love, can you hear me? I'm just... I'm going to get some help. Oh, dear Lord. Ambulance, please, and please hurry. Hey, Gary, your speech was brilliant, lad. I wish your Judy could have heard you. She'd have been that proud of you. Yeah, well, somebody had to stay at home and mind the kids. And she said she weren't really up to dancing and that, you know. But don't you forget to take her some cake. No danger. And I'll be asking you for a dance later on. You're on. I love you, Mrs. Peacock. I know you do. And I love you too. Me, Mrs. Peacock, suits you. Because you're a beautiful bird. <laughs> Oh, Melanie and Tom, where have you been? You missed us cutting the cake. Things to do. Bridesmaid duties. Have a good time, Tom. Uh, brilliant, thanks, Ash. Yeah, well, you just make sure Melanie has a good time, too. Every chance I get. <laughs> Come on, Mel, let's get a drink. So how's your wedding day been? Is it as good as you wanted? Excellent. Just perfect. Good. Because my Uncle Fred said you're not supposed to enjoy your own wedding. Mm -hmm. All the other people's. Hmm, don't he talk some rubbish, eh? <laughs> All time. <laughs> well, I'm glad you take after your mum. Well, at least I hope you do. Of course I do. Your mum's not bored this shit. <laughs> there you go, Kathleen. Cheers. Cheers. I'm watching Ashley. He's a fine young man. I'm glad I saw him got married. Me and all. I'm proud of that. Beryl did a good job bringing him up. I've told her that I know. That's well, mind you. We did a damn good job in all, making the lad in first place. Now then, we don't have any of that talk. There's no bedroom. It's supposed to be with me at this do, you know. You wouldn't think it, would you? It's not stop dancing attendance to Kathleen since she showed up. Well, it's only fitting, though, isn't it? After all, she is Ashley's mother. Yes, I know, but... But she's hardly been a proper mother to him, has she? Not like you. No, she hasn't. But I'm thankful for it. I had Ashley when he was a tiny baby. I had all them years of him growing up. And if she'd wanted him, I wouldn't have worked. Gary, lad, how are you doing? I'm enjoying myself here. Well, we'll put a stop to that. Come on, let's have a dance. Oh, yeah, I always forget which arm it is. <laughs> oh, there's somebody in. I've been knocking on all the doors and there's nobody in. Emily, Emily, and what's the matter? It's Judy Mallet. I found her in their backyard. I think she's badly hurt. She's unconscious. Have you called the ambulance? Oh, yes, yes, and I didn't want to leave her, but the babies are crying. Yeah, yeah come on. All right, well, we're with you. Oh, yes, Vinnie, you're in charge. Hold the fort. <laughs> Where the hell's the ambulance? I'm going to phone again. Emily, she looks terrible. Will she come round? No, Ken's trying to revive her. I'm going to try 999 again.
Yes, I know they can't be everywhere at once, but she needs help. Thank you. Apparently they've had lots of calls, but the ambulance will be here in a minute. Ken, I don't think you should leave Judy on her own. Somebody should be with her. Have you got a blanket? Yeah, yeah, here you go. Of course, how stupid of me. We must keep her warm. No, uh... It's too late for that, I'm afraid. Dead? No. I think she was probably dead before we got here. I'm going to cover her. Just think this time tomorrow you and Maxine will be on your Caribbean honeymoon. It's all right for some of it. Me and Judy got that good. Ah, well, it's not where you go to bed, Gary. It's who you wake up with, so it is. Oh, that's very, very true. I won't mind to go to those Caribbean beaches anyway. I'll tell you something. I wish it was Blackpool we were heading for. But don't laugh. But I'm frightened of flying. Uh... I've never been on an aeroplane. I don't want to go on one. Oh, don't worry, Ash. You'll be all right. There's nothing to it. I got your trouble. Oh, nicely. Have a few jars in my laughing, boy. Eh? <laughs> Hello, Tom Love. As the bride's mother, I'm here to claim the traditional dance with the bride's workmate. Oh, I've uh, not heard that before. Oh, yes, goes back donkey's ears in our family, that one. Oh, well, I, uh... uh yeah, all right then, Mrs. Heavy. Doreen to my friends, Rob. And I'm sure that's going to include you. We might be quite a while, dear. Come on, Dom. Let's have a dance. We're gonna celebrate and have a good time. Right, here they go, girls. Drinks. Oh, Mom. There you go, self service gin and Cheers. Cheers. Honestly, Fred Elliott, I'm in the goal of the man. First he keeps in my seat at the top table, and now look at him, dancing with her all the time. I mean, I wouldn't mind, he's supposed to be my escort at this wedding. Well, look on the bright side, ma'am. It's her toes he'll be treading on. Actually, Fred is quite a nift to move her on the dance floor. He does a surprisingly good slow foxtrot. <laughs> slow foxtrot? They don't do them anymore, Audrey. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do, if you know where to go. Anyway, look at her, Kathleen. And she dances like she's got two left feet. <laughs> you wouldn't be jealous, would you, Mum? Jealous? Me? Girl, I haven't got a jealous bone in my heart. <laughs> Gary, I was looking for you. Better come home. Why? Is there someone wrong with the kids? No, the kids are fine. It's... It's Judy. She's been in some kind of an accident. You better come home, Gary. I've got the car outside. Right. I, I better... I, I better tell Ashley. Look, Jim, Jim can do that. You know what my car's like. I'll see you out there in a minute. Oh. No, listen, I'll follow you, Gary, all right? No, you stay here and fill in for Gary, but don't say anything about Judy. Why not? Because you don't want to ruin the day for Maxine and Ashley. Just say that Gary had to go home. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, Tell me she's been hurt. She's dead. We'll not move yet. The police surgeon may want to take a look. Do you want to call CID? 1498 to control. CID? Police surgeon? It's what we have to do in a case like this. Yeah, with the paramedic then. Sudden death. Are you saying this wasn't some kind of accident? Do you mean she was attacked? I'm not saying that. It could be natural causes. Were you the one that found her? Yes. Is there, is there something I should have done to help her? No, love. Not a thing. Nothing we could have done either. There's one thing I'm sure of. She's been dead a good hour. Hey, I, I'm handing over the job to you now, love. She's all yours. I'm relying on you to look after my baby girl. Dad, I'm not a baby. Oh, you'll always be a baby to me. 
She's always been the daddy's girl, you know. <laughs> hey, we, we've got a photo of him of our little Maxine <laughs> on a rug in a birthday suit, <laughs> smiling at her daddy. You just make sure you don't show that photo to anyone. And now she's all yours, Ashley. Like always the same. Three pints and he's maudlin drunk. I'm not drunk. I'm just wishing the happy couple every happiness. I only hope that you will be as happy as what me and your mother have been. Well, God help them if that's the best they can hope for. What's that supposed to mean? You, you've you been happy. You are happy, haven't you? Oh, don't. You have been happy. Go and have a glass of water. No, you down. have been happy, I've haven't you? I about this. I told you, you might spoil Maxine's wedding. No. <laughs> I think we've seen the best of the party, don't you? Why don't we slip away and start a party of our own? You know, Summit. I was just going to suggest that myself. Hey! Put her down, put her down. Control yourselves, it's not seemly. Me, Maxim, will slide away. You what? It's not even gone dark yet. Ooh, you've an animal side to you and nature. I say an animal side, Ashley. Listen, we just want to slip away with nobody shouting advice and following us. Just want to sneak away quietly. We don't want following. All right, Uncle Fred. You can keep this party going, can't you? Certainly, with the other be a best man. Where's he got to, any road? He likes his ale, does that get it? What? Uh, I suppose he's heaving up his heart in gents, is he? No, he's not heaving up his heart in gents. Uh, look, uh, the pair of you, get yourselves off on honeymoon, enjoy yourselves. All right, God bless you both. Good luck, Maxie. Take care, man. All right, good luck. Thanks, Jim. Are you sure that is all right? Yes, he's fine. He's just had to nip home. All right, off you go. Go on. Hey, Fred, you and yep. me should talk. What is she? She all right? You haven't told him. I couldn't, Emily. I just kept hoping Ken was wrong. Uh, told me what? What's going on? Where is she? Gary, I'm sorry. Judy's dead. Get lost. You know, something happened to her out in the back. We don't know what the cause was, but she died. The doctor's out there with her now. What's going on? Are you the husband? Yes, I'm her husband. I'm sorry, there was nothing we could do for her. Judy, love, it's me. I'm here, darling. I'm here. here. Judy, talk to me now. She's dead, Mr. Mallet. I'm very sorry. No, she'll be all right. No. No. No, no, it's all right. Mr. Mallet, can you talk to me? I don't understand what's happened to her. It's my job to find that out. That's what I'm here for. Can you tell me? Did she have a fall no, recently? No, she hasn't had a fall. But Judy. She's got severe bruising on her leg. Well, she had a bit of a bump in a cab, but it weren't that bad. It, it, well, it can't be that, can it? No, I don't know, Mr. Mallet. Right now, I can't give you any answers. Was your wife an epileptic? No. Any history of heart trouble? No. She's always, she's always been healthy and strong. She, she was fine this morning. She had a bit of a pain in her leg, but oh, I don't understand. I want to know what's happened to her. So do we. And we'll need to do a post-mortem to find out one way or another. Threads are moving, sir. No! <laughs> no, oh, take... Mr. Mallet, look, we have to take your wife away now. I I'm sure you understand. No, don't take her. Can I go with her? I want to go with her. Please. Oh, hi, Rita. How was the wedding? Hello, love. Oh, it went like a dream. The bride looked lovely, the groom stayed sober. Who could ask for anything more? <laughs> I take it Sharon went to the wedding after all. I thought she might. No, Sharon did, of course. Oh, it's just that the cabin's been closed all afternoon. And I went round to the flat and I knocked, but there was no one there. Mm. Are you uh, having a refill, Rita? No, thanks, love. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. I hope she's not worried about Sharon. No, I don't think so. Oh, you're back. You had a good time then, boss? A good time? No. No, I haven't. Well, some nice life. Might as well know. Judy Mallet. She died this afternoon. Are you kidding us? Oh, for heaven's sake, Janice, why would a joke about it? There was an ambulance in the street. Thank you, Leo. 
donkeys to let myself. Sharon. <laughs> Come on. Are you happy? Couldn't be happier. Yeah, nor me. Mm. Oh, I swear in the bed. <laughs> this is Tom's doing, is this? This is where he sneaked off to with Melanie. Hey, hang on. What are you looking for? A bell of summit. Oh, I can't see out. Bell? That's awful. We wouldn't do that. Oh, well, it's been known. You never know. Hey, there's an earring. That's Melanie's. How did that get there? Don't be so innocent. How do you think? Her and Tom. And in our bridal suite as well. She's supposed to be getting married next month for now. Well, Jim, pretty sure she likes Tom. Well, by the look of this, there's no doubt about it. Hey, did you see my mum dancing with Tom? <laughs> She's all right, won't we? She gets it going. Mind you, I've given up worrying about her now. I think people had a good time, didn't they? Best wedding I've ever been to, I heard people say. She's in the mortuary. She's in a big drawer in the mortuary. I, I wanted to stay, but the... The bloke, he, he wanted to go home. I suppose he's got a wife to go home to. Where are the twins? Oh, it's all right, they're... Uh... They're asleep upstairs, both been fed, and I've bathed them and, and changed them. <laughs> You've done the iron as well. You have been busy. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to have something to do. Thank you. What are we going to do? Me and the kids without Judy. What are we going to do? <laughs> don't know, uh, Gary. I really don't know. I knew she weren't good. You know what? She hadn't been since she had that 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 bump in Vera's car. She, she won't go to casualty. She, she said she didn't have time because of the kids. And then. And then she was supposed to be going to a doctor, and I said, you, "You've got to go. You, you've got, you've got to go. You've got to go and get it seen to." And, but she said she didn't want to be wasting a doctor's time. But she wouldn't. She wouldn't go. You know, maybe, maybe if she had, then she'd be here now, and and the, and the kids would have a moan of it. She wouldn't go. Oh, Jim, come on. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Gary. All right, Jim. I suppose you... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Emily's been brilliant. Hi. Yes. She's, uh... She fed the kids. She's even... I hope you didn't uh, bother with any of the duties, because that would have oh, Gary. Um, look, uh, you look white. Why don't you go home? I'll take over here, eh? Right? Yes, I, I, I think I will, I guess. Like Gary. Oh, I feel almost human again. Oh. Cleaned up. You shouldn't have done that. I could have done that. Just what were you hoping to achieve? Do you fancy a cup of tea? No, I don't fancy a cup of tea. What I fancy is hearing you tell me what the hell you thought you were doing. Don't shout at me, Rita. Shout at you? I could slap you. Come on. I want to know. Were you trying to kill yourself? Because that's what it looked like. Pills all over the floor. 
and vodka. It went through my mind, all right? <sighs> I admit it. I just felt, you know, that it was all a big nothing life. Danny dumping me, I suppose. Following on from me and following on from other men you've never met and you'll never know, so I won't even bore you with the names. Am I that sad, Rita? Am I that unfanciable? Don't ask me to join in your self-pity. Oh, self-pity? Oh, it's horrible, isn't it? It's a really unattractive sort of quality, but that's me and that's the me I don't like being. Do you know your trouble? Your real trouble? You think you've had it tough. You don't know you're born. I don't know how you'd cope. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always something and somebody worse off than yourself. I know that, Rita. <sighs> you know, I, I just had four pills, that's all. I, I just drank what there happened to be left in the vodka bottle. It wasn't a proper suicide job. I haven't got the guts for it, you see. I keep thinking this is a dream. It's a dream. It's a bad dream and I'm, I'm going to wake up and... Everything will be all right. But it won't, will it? No, it won't, Gary. No. You did. No, I. No, I. No, she, she's gone and she's not coming back. I've lost my wife. The kids have lost the mother. God, oh, I'm not having it, Jimmy. I'm not having it. Oh, you know. We were we were happy. We <clears throat> we, we were skint, yeah, all right. We were skint, but we, but we were happy. We, now she's gone. Oh. Is there a, a where's the meaning? Where's the justice in that? Is there any justice in that? Is there? No, Gary, there's none at all, son. Go on. Oh, Jim. Oh. Yeah, I know, Gary. Oh, come on, son. Come on. Oh, it's a bit of fun. Come on, Gary. I know. And if you've been affected by issues raised in today's program, you can visit itv.com forward slash advice for support information.